Here is Voyager class Ironhide, and uh, he's actually a pretty cool figure. I like his transform. Um, the wings are kind of interesting, but you can also put those back like that. Um, but the reason about this video is that his his chest, while the transform is actually really cool, how it's it, it's hinged right there and the wheels pivot in. Um, I like that a lot. However, it doesn't clip in inside like I want it to. It, it it tries so hard, but it fails miserably. Alright. Now you see this gray piece right here? That looks like the tab. And this right here is the hole that it goes into. Yeah, see? So, uh... See that? How it just... It lines up. And you can even push your, put your finger in and, and push it onto that tab a little bit. But it doesn't really want to stay, especially when the tires are in there, it makes it a t trickier. And part of the problem, I think, is that, you see the angle of, with which the gray part is hitting the bl black part? See that? Well, the black part, interestingly enough, instead of going in at that angle, let's see there, going in at that angle, it kind of goes up, it slants up. Now, uh, so I'm going to leave a lip there, obviously. Leave this part, but I'm going to go up a little bit and dremel some into it. I tried with the knife earlier and I just realized that it doesn't go straight up like that. It has to go like that. And you can see, you can't really see it on here, but on yours, I'm sure you can, that there's a slight groove. See, uh, I don't know. It's basically just flat here, and then has a bend, and it goes upwards like that, and then another bend before it goes up to that. So, I'm going to leave that, that line right there where the groove is, and dremel just on top of it so that it's got more of a flat surface for the gray pig to go into and grab a hold of. As well as I'm going to be putting some layers of super glue along the edges of this, and maybe even on that, to give it a little more of a rough spot, because this is really smooth, slippery plastic for one. So give it a little more of a rough spot, as well as make it a little bit longer. So elongate the peg, deepen the hole, we should get a better connection. So I'm going to give that a try. And unfortunately, I can't like take these parts off in order to get a better angle to it, because they're all riveted in. There's not screws. Um, I don't know why they're going with rivets lately, but they are. So... So, I'm using, I'm not actually drilling the, on, on the flat part of this at all, I'm using the tip to push in, and I'm digging a hole deeper, essentially. Um, kind of drilling more than I am drilling, like sanding the sides. So, uh, I'm using the flat part of the Dremel for this. Oh wow, it actually does work a lot better. Now I can move his arms and not have it pop out so easily. Look at that, even the tight part. Ah oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So all I did was deepen that hole, oh, really. I didn't. I did put a little bit of glue on the, uh, the gray part and that kind of roughed it up. But, uh, but now that I've got a deeper groove on that black, black inside. I mean, I can see it now with the wheel in the way. There you go. You can kind of see see the black. See the black part touching, going with the gray. The gray part's going into the black. There we go. See that? See the gray part going into the black? That's what we were going for. And it stays. Now, now that the wheels are in, it puts pressure against it this way. So it actually clips in relatively well, which I am quite happy about. I think that's what they uh, intended for it to be. I see that? See an extra nice clip. Push it in there. Stays. Get it. 
unclip it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Ironhide. Yeah. Surprisingly, isn't that hard to clip in, too. I thought it would be a little harder. Ironhide. <laughs>